that is all I want to accomplish this week. I want to look just as badass as they do in the gym. I didn't even need to say it out loud. I just needed to think it and I jinxed myself. Good morning friends, welcome to a new video. It is actually my last week in Niger this week that I am documenting in this vlog. My tour here has been cut short by one week. It's just our scheduling worked funny. It doesn't really change anything for me in terms of going to my next tour any sooner, but I do have to leave here sooner. The last month has just completely flown by. It's literally been just over a month that I've been here. I've got one more week and then I will be on my way home. Today is Monday. It is, I think, 12. I slept in this morning because last night I stayed up until like 2 a.m finishing my essay assignment and submitting it. I am just waiting for the driver to become available because as you might know my mission for this week is to go and buy some African print fabric that is custom to Niger and then get somebody to make me a nice dress. That is all I want to accomplish this week. So until the driver is available I'm just gonna hang out and just edit a vlog actually because I'm in the middle of editing my what I eat in a week while I'm here and I'm supposed to make it go live tomorrow but I'm not even done editing it yet. I think I'm only on like Wednesday or something so wish me luck. has finally ended with success. This is the piece of fabric I decided to buy for my mom and my sister. It's very high quality wax cotton basically. It's like a specific type of fabric that they make in Africa and I love getting things made in this fabric. I love any like African print dress and stuff. I just think it's stunning. So this is a three meter piece and I got it for my mom and then this is the one that I got for myself. This is what my print looks like. I love the vibrancy in these colors. Just look at that. That's gonna be stunning. Tomorrow I would love to go out and see if I can find somebody to make me a dress similar to this one in this fabric and then I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna have extra as well. So if you can make me something else as well then I will welcome that. But look at how pretty that fabric is. I'm so excited for it to become a pretty something. But it is a Monday and never miss a Monday is a real thing. So I'm about to head up and get a workout in. <laughs> Good morning friends, happy Tuesday. It is 11 a.m. in the morning. I struggled so hard to get out of bed this morning. Mentally I'm still fast asleep actually, but last night I stayed up trying to get a video uploaded because today is Tuesday and I like to upload my YouTube videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. So I was up uploading it because I don't have Wi-Fi so I had to hotspot myself to upload it and that took quite a while. And then I just decided to start watching NCIS for no reason whatsoever. But I don't know if I told you guys, but our aircraft has a little bit of a technical issue. So the engineers are busy with that this week. So I doubt I'll be flying the rest of the time that I'm here. But I think I do want to go on like a 20 or 30 minute walk on the treadmill today. And at some point I need to go get eggs because I'm dying to make some more pancakes. I'll probably do that a little bit later and have the pancakes for lunch. I'm heading out, gonna try to find a tailor to make me my dress with my fabric. I hope I'm not cutting it too short and that he has enough time to finish. It's very nice, very hey? Very nice, very nice. Who chose it for you? I chose it. I oh, went to the market and I found it at the market. Wow. I wanted to pick something pretty. Wow, good. I can make that dress. The dress? And the, the, bag, the bag. One bag like this? Yes. One like this and this one? And oh. that one. This is my fabric. I'm South Africa. And Sam is making me yeah, a dress. Niger. Yeah. She's my sister. <laughs> Best one.
You guys, I cannot be the only person on this planet who works out harder if there's other people around. Is it just me? It can't just be me. Seriously, like I do not want to look weak or out of breath when there are other very muscly and fit people around me. It was funny, I actually ran my entire kilometer this morning. I came up to the gym today just to stretch because my back is really sore and I ended up on the treadmill and I ended up running my entire first kilometer. And I did it in under eight minutes, which is just crazy. I've made progress up to this point. I think I'm at the point where I can run the first four minutes and then I walk for like a minute or two and then I run the rest of the kilometer but today I just ran my entire first kilometer because I was like, these muscly European strangers are not about to see me out of breath every other minute. <laughs> I wanna look just as badass as they do in the gym. But yeah, I just finished my stretching now, I'm done with my workout. Apparently, my pilot told me that it's like an Independence Day today, so it's a public holiday. So I guess that's why some of the other residents decided to jump in the pool at 11.30 p.m. and have a pool party and be very, very loud and keep me up. <laughs> Way past my bedtime. Nothing super interesting to report today. I took it easy this morning and edited. I'm at the gym now and once I'm ready for the day, I'm probably just gonna spend the rest of the day studying some schoolwork stuff. But I just wanted to jump on you and say hi. I'm having a little bit of FOMO, so I think we're actually gonna go downstairs and join everyone at the pool because like I said, it's a public holiday and a lot of people are at the pool, including some of our pilots. So we think we're gonna go join them. Okay, I'm not trying to be a creep, but that's just to show you that there's people by the pool. I was at the pool party from about 3 p.m. and it's now 9 so it was a really fun afternoon. I've just had a shower now and heated up some of my leftover pasta, chicken pasta with broccoli that I'm gonna have for dinner now at 9 p.m. I know but I spent the whole afternoon outside it was so much fun hanging out with not only my pilots but just everyone else that lives in this apartment building a bunch of Europeans a few Americans and other Africans so it was lovely getting to know everyone having a chat having a few drinks having a few laughs and jumping in the pool for a little bit it was a lot of fun I know I didn't take enough clips at all but I was just you know living in the moment enjoying myself Good morning guys, it's Thursday now. It's been raining all day, but I still needed to come out. I came to the clothing store to look for that dress again. I can see they've only got an extra small, so I've asked the guy if he can go find me a medium, please, because I don't wanna go home without it. But in the meantime, look at this cute skirt. Cute. <laughs> I wanted to vlog this morning while it was raining and be like, oh, it's such a nice, relaxing last few days in Niger. And then I thought, no, I will not do that because that's gonna make me jinx myself. Then something bad's gonna happen. Turns out I didn't even need to say it out loud. I just needed to think it and I jinxed myself <laughs> because I went out just now to check on the progress of my dress that I'm having made and the man has not even started. He has not started. Apparently it will be ready by tomorrow, so we will see. I don't know. And we also picked up some dessert from the famous Amandine. I've already tasted it, but I got this chocolate slice. And then this one is my roommate's favorite one that came very highly recommended. It's like a custard slice. And I must say both are 10 out of 10. Yesterday while I was out, I went to the store and I picked up a whole bunch of Schweppes to take home for me. Some for my sister, some for Keegan, and some for even my boss. Because she asked for a Zobo, she wants to taste it. So I got some of those. I also had to stop by numero uno. You guys know the draw. I was checking to see if they had the dress that I fell in love with a couple weeks back. Yo, I look crazy with this bandana on. Hang on. <laughs> Anyway, they only had the dress in an extra small, so that was not successful, but I did pick up another outfit that I'm very excited to show you guys. I got this crop top 
and it's got this dainty beautiful little floral print it's a small but it fits me perfectly and this was 5,000 sifa and then I got something that I've been dying to get but every time I see these in South Africa they're so overpriced and I've never owned like a silky satiny midi skirt before but I think that they're stunning I got this for 9,000 sifa it's a medium isn't that beautiful just look at that color it's like a sage green but like shiny and very light it's midi length I am so excited about it I think it's gonna look so cute I can dress it up with some heels I can dress it down with some white sneakers I just think it's gonna be such a vibe but yeah let me get this workout in and and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit on in the day it's about 6 p.m now we went out for a bit engineers wanted to look in certain shops for certain things so we just went with them just to get out of the house i heard that i can get perfume here quite cheaply so i went shopping but it's really not that bad i only got two things because they honestly did not have a very good uh variety i got this invicto i'm guessing that it's the same as the invictus cologne got that for keegan i honestly don't know what it smells like but it was 5000 sifa and 5000 sifa for this one as well this is baracot rouge 540 i have never heard of it before but my roommate does use like the proper one i think that's written in english or whatever so i don't know if this is super legit or not but you know what it is a perfume that i can take with me on contract just so that i can smell a little extra specially nice instead of just using like body spray or whatever but let me take the bottle out and show you guys what this looks like that is what the bottle looks like it looks very grown up <laughs> We're gonna go out for dinner tonight, so I need to get changed, get ready to head out. I don't think I mentioned to you guys, but I did go and check on the progress of my dress today, and sadly, it is not quite done yet, which makes me a little bit nervous, especially because he still has to make two bags as well for me with the same fabric so we'll see how it is but at this point he just needs to hem the bottom put the sides together and add the straps to the side and then make the bags from scratch so it's promising here's hoping because i would really really love to have everything that i asked for and i told him i'm leaving the country tomorrow on saturday which is a lie because i'm leaving the country on sunday but you have to do this with certain things just so that they can get done done and you're not really actually panicking on the day that you have to leave Last night was a good time. My roommate and I just went to Bravia Hotel, which is close by. We got some pizza and a couple of drinks and just hung out and chilled for the evening. It's now Saturday. It is 11 a.m. and I'm heading out to go and hopefully pick up my dress. <sighs> yeah, I just hope that he's done. I don't know why I'm so nervous about this. I just, I hope he's done. That's it. Remind me to tell you guys about how crazy the driving is here. Oh. <laughs> okay. And it's understand. Say hi, Sam. Hi. Good morning. Welcome. I finished your my dress. Yeah, I finished your dress. Yay! I got my dress! 
I'm so excited. I, I know I showed you guys a few clips, but I am so excited. I actually have not tried it on as it is complete right now. He was pretty much done with the entire thing and how cute that he put it on the mannequin for me to see when I came to pick it up. But he wasn't done with like the straps on the sides. So I asked him to like quickly just like make some for me and put them on because I really, really, really wanted the dress to have straps so that I could like, you know, that waist whenever I was in this dress. Literally, I left the apartment at 11 and I was back at 11.30, including him making me straps, like cutting the fabric, making the straps, sewing them onto the dress. So mm. I appreciate Sam. He did an amazing job. I'm currently just doing my last load of laundry and I decided to throw my dress in it and stuff. But once everything is dry, I will try it on for you guys and I will show you what it looks like on. I'm so excited. But you know, in the meantime, I guess I better start packing. While I was packing, I came across one of my face masks that I have. It's from Yours Beauty. It is the Soothing Aloe one that is for acne prone and sensitive skin. So I actually think I'm gonna put this on and just chill before I have my shower because why not make my last day here as relaxing as possible? These are the two bags that he made me. This is just one of those side satchel bag things and I got a medium sized tote. He put like cushioning in the bags so they're nice and soft, even this one. But obviously he used my fabric. It's got little pockets inside. That's the tote and that's what it would be like on me. I think this will be so cute for like traveling just like a day out or just my airport tote, you know. If I can fit my laptop in this, then even better. And then this is the little crossbody bag. Obviously you guys know the print is exactly the same. I would never wear all of this at the exact same time. But this is cute if I'm wearing like all black and I decide to carry this bag, I think it would really pop. Okay, not sure why I'm so out of focus, but I'm not going to iron my dress before I try it on for you guys because I'm literally about to fold it up and throw it in my suitcase. But I do want to just try it on. I can't not be obsessed with this dress, you guys. Look how pretty it is. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. I can't get a really good angle in this room, but this is basically the dress. It is a bit low cut, but honestly, like, I'm kind of into that. This is something that I can also like fix when I get home, so that's not a huge problem. I'm struggling to close the zip on top because it just comes too high, but the zipper itself has this cute little butterfly detail on it, which is so cute. I will put the inspiration photo on the screen here. I made Sam just change the shape of the sleeve because I feel like this fabric is much harder than whatever fabric the girl in the picture is wearing so I didn't think that a puff sleeve would look good so I just like this like extended short sleeve I made him add these straps which I think make it so much more flattering but the dress itself does fit my waist well enough and comfortably enough without the straps I just like having the straps to add a little bit more cinched in you know otherwise I think it's so flattering here's the bottom part of it it's also got this whole layered look it's so cute and it's long and it's flowy this would be such a fun dress for me to wear to a wedding so i'm pretty sure that's what i will save it for is a wedding but i can dress it down with like some flip-flops or some like espadrilles or something like that i'm obsessed this looks so cute oh my gosh i can't get over it I've got to say, considering he made this in like 24 hours, Sam did a very good job. So, I'm very happy. I remember saying I wanted to talk to you guys about the driving here and it is horrendous. It's almost like people are on some kind of a suicide mission when they're on these roads and everyone is constantly hooting. And I know that they're only hooting to tell the person that's trying to come into the road. But it just, there's so much hooting. It freaks me out. And if you're a pedestrian and you look like you're about to cross, then the oncoming traffic will hoot at you to be like, don't cross right now because we're coming and we're not going to stop. And people just, and the taxis just stop. In the middle of the road, they just stop to 
pick up a passenger to drop a passenger off i mean it's very much like south africa but worse because here everybody drives very much like the taxi drivers back home <laughs> so i find that so funny but yeah we just came back from going and getting our chicken wraps and our smoothies i've just finished watching the movie spiderhead which was I mean it's a really good movie but it's one of those movies that I like have to pay attention to to actually understand the storyline and it was super interesting. It's a little bit of a weird movie, it's not PG but it's... I enjoyed it. <sighs> it's the end of the night now guys. I have just been chilling, winding down, drinking my avocado and banana smoothie, editing a little bit actually. My flight tomorrow is at... 12 30 i think my pickup is at about 8 30 just so that we can beat the queues because i think it's gonna be a full flight again so we will see wish me all the best of luck i am pretty much done packing though all of those bags are pretty much full and ready to go the only one still open is that one which i'm gonna throw my last minute things like the clothes i'm wearing right now i still need to throw in there my towel you know my toiletries and stuff i'm gonna throw in there before i leave but i'm pretty much done when i get home i think it's gonna be a public holiday on monday but the rest of the week i'm gonna be doing like a ton of life admin stuff and then hopefully i'll get to see some of my friends while i'm home i'm definitely gonna go down to underberg for a week and then it'll be time to prep and get ready for my next charter contract so stick around for more of that kind of content i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like it if you did and subscribe to the channel to see more of my future videos also have a fantastic day while you're at it and continue spreading good vibes and being kind i will see you guys all very soon in my next vlog. Bye-bye.